Hello, welcome to the vlog. I'm Ivy YL, and today I'm going to be sharing with you all my lock braids. I've had these in for three weeks, and in this video, I'm going to be taking down these braids. This is probably the first time I've had lock braids in without the intention of doing a lock braid out. I've just been really enjoying rocking the braids. I took a family vacation um, this summer and I installed the braids then and I've just been enjoying rocking the braids since I came back from the trip and styling the braids. I asked a few people on my Instagram what should I talk about in this video when I am taking down the braids and it was a, a tie between several things. People asked questions about my locks, how did I care for my locks while it was in braids as well as lock styles I want to try, not necessarily braided lock styles. So I'll be sharing in this video. If you're interested, stay tuned. Remember to comment. I love engaging with you all uh, at the end of a video. Like, share it, and make sure you're subscribed so you can get an update on my next video. Stay tuned. One of the ways that I made sure to care for my braids was hydration. Hydration is important whether you have braids or any style you have your locks in. So I sprayed it with rose water and after spraying and pretty much saturating my hair with the rose water, I made sure to get the length of the lock, my scalp, the ends, and then I uh, pressed the water into my locks. Made sure to press it in. So I did this periodically not necessarily daily, but as needed. I am always amazed at how braids look in locks or any style. Another way I cared for my locks was making sure to check periodically for debris along the length of my lock as well as the ends. Because whether your locks are hanging loosely or in braids, they will collect lint. So checking was very important. When I was braiding my locks, it was right after a shampoo day, so I made sure, like I usually do, to just put the oil in my scalp and not the length of my lock, because oil on the length of your lock sometimes tends to attract lint more than if you don't have oil um, placed on the length of the lock. So that helped to uh, help me manage with the braids as well. And when I was braiding, I made sure to keep my three sections, my three sections versus as you start to braid to borrow a lock or two from one of the sections because when I'm unraveling like you see here it's a clean unravel and it makes it easier the only thing I battle with sometime when I'm unraveling or doing styles that I keep up more than a week is my hair starts to tangle which is expected because they're in locks and my hair is really kinky and tightly cool so it will try to attach itself as much as possible to the other lock so that's something to keep in mind if you want to do braids. Don't keep them too long um, because they will start to marry and tangle. Same thing for curls as well. Before recording the video of the braid takedown, I removed most of the hair ties I had on the end. But it was a thin hair tie that I used and I prefer those over rubber bands. And even over hair ties or rubber bands, I prefer curling whenever possible but if I am to use something to secure my ends after braiding or twisting I use those hair ties later in the video you will see um, how those hair ties look if you have locks and you haven't realized yet but locks hold scents and at this point I was realizing that the shampoo I used right before braiding my hair was still in my locks so it's very important to remember the scents you keep around your hair because it will absorb those more frequently asked questions. How long have I been growing my locks? I've been growing my locks since 2009. So as of the recording this video, that makes 15 years. And I've really kept it simple in terms of how I maintain my hair. So in short, I shampoo my hair, try to make it consistently between about 14 to 21 days. And I shampoo with two shampoos, a clarifying shampoo and a Another shampoo, typically it's moisturizing shampoo. And afterwards, I dry my hair. I don't air dry at this point because I have so much hair. It would take forever. 
and that wouldn't be good to have water or my hair to be damp for so long. So I sit under the dryer for a little while or I'll um, use my handheld. I do have a Rev Air, so I do use that sometime, but um, it's a process to use Rev Air. If you all want me to talk about the Rev Air, let me know and I'll make a video about it. I do have a quick uh, video on my Instagram page of me using the Rev Air, but if you want me to make a dedicated YouTube video, just let me know in the comments. But after I dry my hair, I add oil to my scalp and throughout the week, I'll spray with rose water because hydration is important. And that's pretty much it. I do have an undercut in the back. So I had about three or four rows uh, cut off in the back for the undercut. I got it in 2017. So I've had the undercut for about seven years and I'm still enjoying having it. Some other questions I'm asked about, what do I do? Keeping long locks that don't break. And once again, hydration is the key. There could be so many variables though that can cause a lock to break. Styling could play a part, tension styles, um, hair ties, tying them too tight. So many variables. I want to make a dedicated video where I share more about that to kind of share information that could be helpful for anyone along their journey. But there are awesome, there are some variables that could be outside of someone's control, whether it's health related or medicine. Um, that's being taken that can impact how long a lock grows without breaking. Styles I want to try. I want to do more with lock pedals, like a lock pedal bun. I also want to try the braided lock bob. So this is uh, the hair tie that I use. I actually have two hair ties. This is one of them that I use. And I have another one that is um, a little thicker that I use as well. But this time I use my thinner hair ties. And I'm just showing, unraveling from the end. I typically try to braid my hair to a certain point and then wrap the rest of the locks around and then secure with the hair tie. I typically keep the hair tie on all the way until I'm about to unravel. But I want to try after my hair dries completely to make sure to just remove the hair ties. And I'm pretty sure my hair will not unravel because of how kinky my hair is. But I just love the look of the braid out the braids and the braid out and how it looks as you all can see it's time for a retightening but the the crinkles are still giving and if i was going to wear this style out i would still be fine with wearing it out even with my my roots looking thick because it's locks in yes you can keep them maintained and nice but they're not going to look perfect and nor are your roots going to be laid each time because they're locks if i can give any advice embrace your natural hair and even in locks embrace the natural look i have a whole pinterest board of styles i want to try i've seen the curly bun i want to do i feel like i've done a curly bun but there's a idea that i have not explored many of the styles are like half up half down styles there are even styles i did when my hair was shorter that i want to redo it this way i've been asked if i colored my ends and the answer is I had my entire head of locks colored back in 2013 by my loctician. She used several shades of auburn and she created an ombre look. So over the years, over the past 11 years, the color has pretty much grown out to just my ends along with the sun playing a part. But my natural color is black or like a an off black but at the ends you see a little bit of brown and auburn because my color has grown out if you've made it to this point in the video thank you so much for tuning in remember to subscribe so you can get notifications when i post a new video like comment ask me any other questions and share with others who have locks or thinking about getting locks who would find it helpful